Thank you for pressing play. Your presence here brings joy to my heart. Welcome to our channel, where today's focus is all about Teenish. Let's get started. Teenish Jorgensen Catching, on February 6, 1993, known mononymously as Teenish, is an American Zimbabwean singer, dancer, and actress. Born in Lexington, Kentucky, Teenish moved to Pasadena as a child to pursue a career in entertainment. Her notable roles included as a motion capture model in the animated film The Polar Express 2004, Robin Wheeler in the Cartoon Network television series Out of Jimmy's Head, and a recurring role in the CBS series Two and a Half Men. Between 2007 and 2011, Teenish was a member of the girl group The Stunners. Following their disbandment, she released the positively reviewed self-recorded mixtapes In Case We Die 2012 and Reverie 2012. Following their success, Teenish signed with RCA Records and released her third mixtape, Blackwater 2013. Her debut single, To On featuring Schoolboy Q, produced by Mustard, reached number one on the Rhythmic Airplay chart and peaked at number 24 on the Billboard Hot 100. Her debut studio album, Aquarius 2014, was noted by music critics as one of the most solid debuts by a new female artist in years. The album garnered her nominations for Soul Train and BET Awards. Her collaboration with Snake Hips and Chance the Rapper, All My Friends, won the Ivor Novello Award for Best Contemporary Song in 2016. The same year, Teenish appeared on Britney Spears' single Slumber Party, which topped Billboard's Dance Club Songs chart. Teenish's second studio album, Nitride 2016, reached number 8 on the top hip hop albums chart in the US. Joyride 2018, her third studio album, peaked at number 58 on the Billboard 200 chart and reached number 6 on the UK Web Albums chart. After departing RCA, Teenish independently released the album's Songs for You 2019. 333 2021 and Bangle 2023. As we move forward, let's uncover the untold stories and fascinating intricacies of early life. Teenish Catching was born on February 6, 1993, in Lexington, Kentucky, and is the eldest child of college professors Michael and Amy Catching. Her father is a professor who teaches acting at California State Polytechnic University. Pomona and a first-generation Zimbabwean immigrant of the Shona descent, while her mother, who is of Danish, Norwegian, and Irish descent, teaches physical therapy at California State University, Northridge. Her parents met each other on a blind date during their time as undergrads at the University of Iowa. Teenish name means we have God or God is with us in the Shona language. She has two younger brothers, Thulani and Kajay. She and her family moved to Los Angeles, California when she was eight years old. She attended Crescenta Valley High School for a year before finishing early to pursue a career in music full-time. During high school she faced bullying from her peers. She began studying ballet, tap, and jazz dancing at the age of four, and continued to compete in various styles as a part of a dance company until she was 18. As we transition to the next segment, let's unravel the mysteries surrounding the stunners and acting roles and gain a fresh perspective. Teenish scored roles in a number of TV shows, movies, and children's videos in the early years, including the movies Cora Unashamed 2000, Call Me Claws 2001, Masked and Anonymous 2003, and two TV series Rocket Power 2004 and Avatar. The Last Airbender 2007. These led to a regular role in the Cartoon Network TV series Out of Jimmy's Head in and a recurring role on Two and a Half Men in. Although she was uncredited in the poorly received Masked and Anonymous, Roger Ebert observed at the film's 2003 Sundance Film Festival premiere the one performer in the movie whose performance actually was applauded, that was a young black girl named Teenish Catching, who sings the times they are a changin' with such sweetness and conviction that she is like a master class. He concluded his review of the movie. If I had been asked to serve as consultant on this picture, my advice would have amounted to three words, 
more teenish catching. In 2007, teenish joined girl group The Stunners, founded by Vitamin Celsius. Her bandmates were friends Marisol Esparza, Ali Ganino, Haley Kayoko, and Kelsey Sanders. Six months after their formation, the group signed with Columbia Records and later signed a production deal with Lionsgate Entertainment for scripted television show for MTV. On March 18, 2009, they released a single and video, Bubbledom. In October, the group released a five-song EP, influenced by artists such as Madonna, Gwen Stefani, and Rihanna. The music video for their promo single, We Got It, was released on February 22, 2010, and they performed the song on the Today Show and the Wendy Williams Show. After signing with Universal Republic Records in 2010, they released a single, Dancing Around the Truth. The music video premiered on June 2, 2010, just before the group was announced as an opening act on Justin Bieber's My World Tour. After the Bieber tour, the Stunners returned to the recording studio, but disbanded in 2011, and Teenish began pursuing a solo career. After the Stunners disbanded, Teenish bought a bunch of equipment, a camera, and microphones, and began to teach herself how to record and mix music. She wrote and recorded songs in her room studio. She produced beats with Logic Pro, and also filmed and edited her own music videos with Pro Tools and Final Cut Pro. Teenish cites YouTube as her teacher. On May 3, 2011, Teenish gave her first televised solo performance during a Dodger Scubs game, singing God Bless America. On June 24, 2011, Teenish released her first solo music video, a cover of Lil Wayne's single How to Love. The song was later released as a free digital download via Teenish's official website. Following the video's release, Teenish confirmed she had officially been released from her recording contract with Universal Republic. Teenish was featured on the dance single Artificial People by OFM, released on September 12, 2011. On November 25, 2011, Teenish released the music video for Can't Say No, her first original solo song. The track samples Britney Spears' song Blur from her sixth studio album, Circus. The song was released for download on November 28, 2011. As we progress, let's shine a spotlight on independent mixtapes, record deal and Aquarius and examine its intricate interplay within our topic. In Case We Die, Teenish's debut solo mixtape was released in February 2012, recorded in her home studio. The mixtape spawned four singles, the first being promotional song, Chainless, released to iTunes on December 19, 2011. My High was released for streaming on her official website. The music video for single This Feeling directed by Cole Wallace was released on May 1, 2012, to Global Grind. The mixtape's final single, Boss, was released August 20, 2012, after the song was featured in an episode of the series Single Ladies. The music video for the song was self-directed. The mixtape was received positively by the blogosphere. On July 13, 2012, Teenish announced that she had signed with RCA Records. Following the signing, her second mixtape, Reverie, was released on September 6, 2012, through her official website. The mixtape released three singles, the first Stardazing, released on August 21, 2012, Denver Sean of Lovabskokum noted Mars the producer's flawless production of the first single, saying Stardazing takes a similar approach to Noah Shabib's productions, but it's as if he strapped one to a rocket and shot it into the galaxy. The second, Ecstasy, released on December 18, 2012, and the final, Who Am I Working For? Released on March 12, 2013. Upon its release, reviews for Reverie were generally positive. From August to November 2012, a series of remixes of songs from Teenish 2 mixtapes leaked online to critical acclaim. On November 26, 2013, Teenish released her third mixtape, Black Water. The mixtape was composed of 13 tracks produced by Dev Hines, Boyder, Ryan Hemsworth, and Teenish herself. 
the single Vulnerable, which features rapper Travis Scott, was declared a must-hear pop song of the week by Ms. Buzzworthy on November 26, 2013. Teenish worked on her debut studio album in 2014. Recording took place in Los Angeles, London, Atlanta, New York, and Toronto. Teenish worked with several producers, including Clams Casino, Ryan Hemsworth, Stuart Mathewman, DJ Mustard, T Minus, Mike Will Made It, Oida, Fisticuffs, Best Kept Secret, Ritz Reynolds, and London on the track. On January 13, 2014, Teenish released her first single from her debut album, To On. The song features American rapper Schoolboy Q and was produced by DJ Mustard. The song entered the US Billboard Hot 100 chart at number 89 and has since peaked at number 24. On June 29, 2014, Teenish made her national television debut, performing her single to on at the BET Awards pre-show. That same day, she also announced that her anticipated debut album, Aquarius, would be officially released on October 7, 2014. Speaking about the theme of the album, Teenish said, It combines the essence of all my previous work. I've stayed true to who I am. Obviously, there's some progression as I've grown as an artist, and I'm influenced by new things and whatnot. I think my fans will be really happy with it. I think it really embodies who I am and where I am creatively right now. The second single, Pretend featuring ASAP Rocky, was released on August 22, 2014. Aquarius debuted at number 17 on Billboard 200 with 18,800 copies sold in its first week. All Hands on Deck became the last single off of Aquarius. Although the single failed to crack the Billboard Hot 100 charts, the music video created much buzz online by peers and fans for its choreography and visuals. Teenish kicked the year off with a visual bang too, appearing on the cover of the Jan 15 issue of the magazine. Now, let's redirect our focus towards Nitride, Joyride and Turing and discover its significance in our narrative. In late January 2015, Teenish was reported working with writers and producers from Prescription Songs Circuit, Anno, Rock City, Jacob Kasher, Chloe Angelides, Max Martin and Taylor Parks on her second studio album. On March 16, 2015, Teenish released a seven-song mixtape entitled Amethyst for free download. The project was recorded in Teenish's bedroom during her Christmas vacation and features production from Ryan Hemsworth, Iamzu, DJ Doi, Smash David, Ritz Reynolds, Nez and Rio and May North. Moja. In between time, Teenish invested in several self-directed music videos from her album Aquarius such as Aquarius, Bated Breath, Cold Sweat, and Bet Feels Like Vegas with no label support. On September 2, 2015, Teenish released a teaser for her then second studio album Joyride on YouTube. She explained to Billboard the meaning behind the title. I always had it in the back of my head, but it started to become more and more relevant to my current state of my career. With all this traveling I've done this past year and everything I've gone through, it just really feels like an adventure, a journey, a ride, and when asked why she feels she isn't being heard she stated, I feel like I've been working really hard this year at developing a fan base, a touring base. I'm continuing to grow, but you always feel like you're a little bit underappreciated, undervalued. Especially for me, it's exciting to have new music and to give people a chance to rediscover me again. On September 9, Teenish leaked the buzz single called Party Favors featuring rapper Young Thug as a way to get the ball rolling from her label. On October 2, 2015, Teenish released another song player featuring Chris Brown. On October 21, 2015, Teenish was featured on British electronic duo Snake Shit track All My Friends which also featured Chance the Rapper which reached the top 20 in 5 countries. In the summer of 2015 Teenish joined Nicki Mina for US concerts on the Pink Print tour, and in September and October she toured South America with Katy Perry on the Prismatic World tour. Meanwhile, 
she was featured in a November 2015 fashion spread in Vogue and was the cover feature in the winter 2015 issue of Dazed magazine. Teenish announced the Joyride World Tour on January 12, 2016, to support the album Joyride. Beginning in February 2016, it was scheduled through May 2016 including dates in North America, Europe, Asia, and Oceania. The tour was ultimately cancelled as Teenish wanted to focus on making new songs for the album. Teenish also revealed another promotional single, Ride of Your Life, on February 2, 2016. In February 2016, MAC Cosmetics announced a limited edition collaboration with Teenish for its Emac Future Forward campaign, along with Halsey, Lion Babe, and Digloaf. In April she was again featured in Vogue. During the summer, Teenish was set to debut on Hot Summer Jam main stage as the only female artist but the event was cancelled due to an extreme weather alert. On July 15, 2016, Teenish released a new single Super Love. The music video directed by Hannah Lux Davis made its debut on August 12, 2016 on Snapchat and gained rave reviews. The video on YouTube reached 1 million views in just a day and a half. On September 15, 2016, Teenish performed her new song Company on Wonderland. Unlike her previous work, Company was written by The Dream without Teenish as co-writer. On October 25, 2016, Teenish was confirmed working with American singer Britney Spears for a remix version of Spears' song, Slumber Party. Teenish appeared on the cover of Nylon's October 2016 issue just as designer brand Alexander Wang was collaborating with her in a video for its fall 2016 campaign. On November 4, 2016, Teenish released a digital album and short film titled Nitride which she said had been in production for two years alongside her Joyed album. Rolling Stone described Nitride as dark, alluring and dangerous. In March 2017, Teenish joined Maroon 5 on the Maroon V tour. The same month, Pepsi, in association with iHeartMedia, Shazam, and Viacom, announced that Teenish would join its music platform, The Sound Drop. On March 16, Teenish premiered a new single, Flame. It was also confirmed that Teenish would appear in the new season of Empire. On April 2, 2017, as part of WrestleMania 33 in Orlando, Teenish performed America the Beautiful in front of a crowd of 75,000, the largest crowd ever assembled at the Orlando Citrus Bowl. In June, she appeared at two concerts with Aaron Carter at Hot's Birthday Bash. In August 2017, she was the cover feature, along with an interview, in Galore. On September 22, 2017, she headlined Bronco Fusion at Calpoli Pomona. On July 11, 2017, Teenish stated that she is working on her second album, Joyride, with producers Mike Wall Made It, Metro Boomin, Diplo, Boyd, Charlie Hansom, and others. On January 18, 2018, she released No Drama featuring Osset, the lead single from her long anticipated album, Joyride. Faded Love featuring Future was released as the second single on February 12, 2018. Joyride was released on April 13, 2018. Get ready for a captivating exploration as we unravel the layers of television, departure from RCA, and songs for you and their profound significance. On June 9, 2018, record producer Hitmaka revealed his role as executive producer on Teenish's upcoming album titled Nash. The lead single Like I Used To was released on July 13, 2018. The project's second single Throw A Fit was released on July 26, 2018, with the album's cover as the single artwork. In August, rumors of Nash being cancelled circulated the internet, with further speculation being followed after Teenish posted a screenshot of a page error from Kuz website on Instagram. On September 12, Teenish was announced as one of the celebrities who will compete on season 27 of Dancing with the Stars. Her professional partner was Brandon Armstrong. Despite consistently receiving high scores, Teenish and Armstrong were the fourth couple to be eliminated from the competition on October 15. In the same month, 
Teenish performed at Austin City Limits Festival. Fox announced a live adaption to the musical Rent as Rent Live, in which Teenish portrayed the lead female role of Mimi Marquez, an exotic dancer who struggles with addiction and HIV. Promotional videos and series of pictures were released featuring Teenish and other cast members in rehearsal and costumes during the lead up to the airing. As a fan of the musical since middle school, she tells US Weekly on her role and the musical overall, it still has a lot of the topics that are definitely not necessarily children topics, but I think it's important because they're very relevant and we deal with them in a beautiful, awesome, fun, exciting way. The musical aired on Fox on January 27, 2019. The television special received five Primetime Emmy Awards. In February 2019, Teenish manager announced she had parted ways with RCA, stating that the positive split was giving her back creative control. After her departure, Hot New Hip Hop published a report believing she was in the midst of being courted by multiple major labels. She signed a management deal with Rock Nation on November 7. Teenish released her first self-released studio album, Songs For You, on November 20. The album has been described by Edolita and the cut as excellent, with the Wall Street Journal's Ben Dandridge Lemko suggesting that it is tough to find a negative review about the project anywhere. On July 17, 2020, nearly eight months after the release of Songs For You, Teenish released the single Rascal Superstar. In August, Teenish confirmed she would be featured on Iggy Azalea's single Dance Like Nobody's Watching. The song was their second collaboration after All Hands on Deck remix. The song charted in Scotland and genre charts in the US. On November 25, 2020, Teenish released a Christmas EP titled Comfort and Joy. The project marked her second release since leaving RCA. Now, let's delve into the intricacies of her present, 333 and bangle and explore its various aspects. On May 28, 2021, Teenish posted a cryptic teaser for her fifth studio album on her social media accounts. The teaser included the caption 333, which was speculated to be the title for her fifth album, along with a new logo designed by Frank Fernandez. The album's lead single, Pasadena, was released on June 4 and features American rapper Buddy. On July 9, Teenish released a new single, Bouncing. Following the release, Teenish announced the 333 tour on July 12, which began in September 2021. On July 22, Teenish announced the release date of 333 as August 6, 2021, and released the song I Can See the Future the same day. The album was met with positive critical reception. The song and music video for Bouncing gathered a lot of media attention, with the likes of Little Mix and Doja Cat expressing their love for the song. Teenish was the first artist to be announced to be featured on the rebooted MTV Cribs, where she showed her Los Angeles house in the Hollywood Hills including her home studio. The year ended with the announcement of her new Facebook watch show Chorio Cage Fight, premiering December 3. Teenish was also named in Forbes 30 Under 30 list for 2022. On July 29, 2022, Teenish released the single New To You alongside Calvin Harris, Normandy and Offset for Harris' album Funk or Bounces Vol. 2. In January 2023, Teenish made a guest appearance in the film adaptation of House Party alongside Jacob Latimore, Mia, Kid Cudi, and Lebron James. She was also cast in the reality competition series Stars on Mars, which premiered on June 5, 2023. The series is hosted by American actor William Shatner among other celebrants where she finished as runner-up. On July 21, 2023, she released Talk To Me Nice, the first single from her sixth studio album, Bangle. On August 18, 2023, she released the album's second single, Needs. She released the album on September 8, 2023. With the groundwork laid, let's now examine musical style and influences and its connections to our previous discussions. Tina's musical style has been described as rub, pop, and alternative rub. 
Teenish said she writes her songs and is open to writing collaborations with other artists. Her writing consists of things that are relative to me and my life, whether that's relationships I've had or relationships that people I know are in, because I can put myself into other people's main states and write from that point of view too. She also likes to write about society, different things that affect me day to day from more of a philosophical standpoint rather than just the obvious stuff. Her mixtapes have been more experimental, incorporating elements of traditional wub, electro hop and dark pop. Regarding her musical style, she is really inspired by rub, hip hop and alternative music. Teenish said in 2016 she feels she does not fit into any particular genre. She later said she considers herself a pop artist who makes routine pop music. In the early stages of her career, she was often compared to and considered the successor to Giora, whom she cites as an inspiration. Her style has also been compared to Janet Jackson, Aaliyah, Nia and James Blake. Teenish was inspired by the music her parents would play in the house when she was young. She considers Britney Spears, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Said, Christina Aguilera, James Blake, The Xs, and SBTRKT as significant influences on her. With the groundwork laid, let's now examine personal life and its connections to our previous discussions. Teenish has a black belt in Taekwondo. In 2016, Teenish resided with her family in La Crescenta, a suburb 20 miles north of Los Angeles. She was in a relationship with Australian basketball player Ben Simmons from November 2017 to May 2018. In June 2020, she attended the George Floyd protests in Los Angeles. Teenish is half Zimbabwean as her father is an immigrant from Zimbabwe. Teenish identifies as bisexual. Brace yourself for a captivating discussion on discography as we explore its nuances and implications. Aquarius 2014 I tried 2016 Joy 2018 Songs for You 2019 333 2021 Bangle 2023 In this chapter, we'll be unraveling the enigma of tours and discovering its transformative power. Headlining the Aquarius Tour Joy Tour 2016 333 Tour 2021 Co-headlining Tinish and She Girl 2023 Opening act Justin Bieber's My World Tour 2010, as a member of the Stunners Nicki Minaj's The Pink Print Tour 2015, Iggy Azalea's The Great Escape Tour 2015, cancelled Katy Perry's The Prismatic World Tour 2015, Banks The Formation World Tour 2016, Maroon's Maroon V Tour 2017, Fumes Fume World Tour 2022. In the upcoming section, we'll be dissecting the stage and exploring its intricate connections to art topic. Year title role notes 2007-13 Cassie pre-Broadway season, the musical ran from January 7, 2007, through February 18, 2007, at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles. Let's now shift our focus to filmography and explore the ways in which it shapes our perspective. Year title role notes 2003 Masked and Anonymous Mrs. Brown's Daughter 2004 Time Out Shawnee Short Film 2004 The Polar Express Hero Girl Motion Capture 2006 Aquila and the Bee Sissy Holly Hobby and Friends Surprise Party Carrie Baker Voice Holly Hobby and Friends Christmas Wishes Carrie Baker Voice 2007 Holly Hobby and Friends Secret Adventures Carrie Baker Voice Holly Hobby and Friends Best Friends Forever Carrie Baker Voice 2011 Justin Bieber Never Say Never Herself 2023 House Party Herself Films Television Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of this video